Hey everybody, Christopher Naiman, how are you? <laughs> My last video I said, that's it for the rope bowls, no more videos. But then I got it as... I had to take segments of my other videos that I talked about and incorporate it to give you some more ideas. As I was going through my uh, thread drawer, because I have a lot of thread, oh boy, all these years I collected thread. You know, like we sewers collect fabric and thread and notions like people collect wine co a collection. The only difference is if you drink your wine, you got nothing to show for it afterwards. Us sewers, when we put things together, we've got something to show for that's going to last and, you know. <laughs> so, we have a, we, we make the better investments, we who sew. Anyway, so I went through my stash, and I did a video on variegated threads before, and the variegated threads I showed you before, most of them were not, uh, um, a rayon for embroidery. Today, as I was going through my stash, I found all this serger yarn. And folks, I'm gonna tell you something. I've been sewing since 1990, 1991. So I have been, I used to sit in the corporate world on my break and lunch and look at the Joanne Fabrics flyer every time they'd come out with one and look at what was on sale. They used to run some thread sales on serger thread, like three, four dollar, four, four dollar. Then they'd have these specialty threads, and they'd have clothes out on them. And when they have these, you go and buy it, and you say, you know, you may not be able to use it for that day, but you know you're going to use it in the future. And a lot of this thread is actually that old. It's it's probably from the late '90s or middle '90s. A lot of this is. Look what it cost at that time, nine ninety five. Maybe some of this is from the two thousands. I don't know. I, I just I have used them. Look how beautiful that is. I've used a lot of this thread and I collected it. And look at this beautiful Christmas variegated thread. You know this would look good with this as a Christmas bowl. I know. I told you I wasn't going to do any more bowls, and I'm not. I'm not going to show you any more bowls. I'm just giving you some thoughts and ideas here for creativity. So that's an idea, right? Yeah, I went to the um, dollar store and I got, I think I bought everything they had. Then I found this yellow, right? So I thought, what would this yellow, what would be good this yellow that I have? Then I, there was two different colors here. There was this orange variegated and this kind of a golden yellow orange variegated here, right? So what did I do? Well, I'll tell you what I did. When I got home, <laughs> yeah, I did, I made another bowl. When I got home, I made another bowl. Here it is. I made another bowl, and I used this variegated thread to make it. The bowl is wet right now because I used my heavy starch on it. I like to spray starch on these bowls when I'm done with them and let them sit. What I do is I, I get an old cooking sheet with the parchment paper, and then I just lay it on there upside down and let it dry overnight. And remember, this starch, this starch is diluted, it's, it's melted from the water-soluble stabilizer. This water-soluble stabilizer I use for when I make freestanding lace. And this water-soluble stabilizer I use for the topping when I'm doing towels, when I'm embroidering towels. So always take these and save them, save your scraps in a bag in a little baggie like this and then when you get enough scraps you melt it in water and then you make sure it's melted really good and you pour it in a spray bottle and you've got great starch okay now you all remember this rope from before I know some of you went out and got this rope and I have two different variegated threads here I've got this blue if I want to keep it in the blue family but then I've got this purple which would look really good on this you know Another one that would look really good is adding this. Look at that. Don't be afraid to blend colors and mix colors, change colors. You never know what you're going to get. Look at, because, see, look at that. It's just, the variegated threads are just so much fun. You know, very, really much fun. Just like this one, this red one I showed you to go with 
the red rope here, right? Now also, so that one of these two would be good. Maybe I'll wrap a bobbin with one and sew with the other. You know, that's an option. I've done that already. That's an option. Keep your options open. Don't be limited, right? Be a little bit daring too. Don't be mad. Don't be like have to have the same color all the time. And also for this, for this, I have this sulky, sulky cotton 12 weight. And it's a little heavier. And, you know, you zigzag that on, give it a different look. It wouldn't be variegated, but you'd have a different look. You know, adding another color to this, right? And what else did I have? Well, they had some, they had a lot of yellow. Nobody likes yellow. You know, I bought, I got a lot of yellow. Yeah, I got a lot of yellow. It appears that nobody wants yellow. And I did get, um, let's see, how many? I got one, two, three, four of these bolts of red. And they had two green left. And then all this yellow, that's what I got. Now for the green, I've got this, which would look good. And this would look really cool added to it, right? This would, this would look, might look really good added to it. Now, let me see what else I have I can show you. All right, pulled out the big guns now. Some of you may have seen my thread collection in the past. This, look at, look at oh, this. I've collected this over the years, guys. This isn't something that you just suddenly buy at once. I mean, this is collected over the years, and they only, I don't, you can't even get this brand anymore. But there's other brands. There's other brands that you could buy uh, with the variegated. And this is a... Um, this is the, was it tr Tribal, Trilable Polyester? And this is by Signature. And I think A&E made Signature from that. Yeah, A&E made Signature. And this is from Japan. Now, where's that green one I was looking at? So, there's, there's different options. Look at how pretty that would add. Oh boy, that wouldn't be pretty. And then there's this, this moss green, maybe not so much. This would look really good. And then there's also a pale color here. Look at this. There's so much to choose from. Now, what they have though, Sulky. Sulky makes beautiful thread. This is um, uh, this is this is their 12 weight cotton. This was the industrial size here earlier, but this is uh, variegated. So there's all different. Look how pretty that would look, right? That would look pretty. Let's see, not, I don't have much more. But, yeah, just absolutely beautiful. Now, going back to the other one I had earlier, I want to show you. Um, this red here would make a nice color. This has got a light, you can see it's got a little bit of shade, lighter shades in it of the red. This would make a beautiful color here. So, don't limit yourself. Be, think creative. Think creative. You know, and when you're making these fabric bowls, more is better. More is better. Don't 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 be don't be um, timid. This is your chance to really get creative. So this is my serger collection of variegated threads. And wouldn't this pink be nice on the white cotton, the white solid cotton uh, cording? Wouldn't that be beautiful on that? That would. That would be beautiful on that, you know? This would look cool on the um, solid white thread, uh, solid white rope, you know what I'm saying? It would just, just be beautiful. So if I buy some, let's see here. I have this spool here. This isn't very firm, um, so I would have to, you know, starch it up really good. But the pink on that, or this on that, This on that would be beautiful, right? Wow, sky's the limit. So I wanted to share this with you all because, you know, we we sewers have a community, and there's so many good people out there. You know, I, I've met many of you on the road when I travel and taught, and you all are just such amazing people, such creative, amazing people. Your hearts are so big and loving, and I really appreciate you people that are the good people out there. And I do this for you guys because you've been so good at supporting me all these years, and 
I really appreciate it. And for the newbies that just got introduced to me, well, if you don't know much about me, I wrote a couple books. I wrote a book on, on pillows, and I wrote a book on bags. You can learn more about that on my website. I'll put it on the screen here at bagsandpillows.com. You can go there. You can get my CD book on bags from my website. You can order directly from me. Um, it, it teaches you how to make uh, vinyl bags and create your own patterns. And I was the first one on the road years ago to teach vinyl bags on the road when everybody else was doing cotton bags. And then the pillows... Pillows book is great. If you have a felting machine or you come across a felting machine, that book teaches you how to do different artistic creations with a felting machine using fancy fabrics. Anyway, those two books are what took me on the road across the country. I was doing workshops at, at progressive baby lock dealers because baby lock had the best embellisher and they kind of adopted me when they saw my work and said oh we want you to be with us so i was kind of exclusive with them and i taught at the baby lock dealers because you know people ask me why do i love baby lock and brother and this and that well you know you go with companies that that supported you and baby lock and brother were very supportive to me they helped me get jobs on the road and i met all their customers it was just wonderful no other brand was doing a lot of events like baby lock was doing um Today, things are different than the old view. The events aren't being done like they used to by the sewing machine com by companies, especially Baby Lock. When we lost our dear Nancy Zeman, who passed away a couple years ago, maybe three, I think it's now, three or four, um, she, was, she was everything in our industry. She was the leader of our industry. She kept our industry alive, and she helped a lot of us get out there. In fact, it was because I was on her TV show that I got international recognition, really. But anyway... Enough about me. This is all about saying thank you to you guys and giving you some inspiration because I love what you love. I love this world of sewing and threads and everything. And oh, it's like candy, isn't it? With candy with no calories. Candy with no calories. So take all this inspiration, these ideas that I give you, and put it to use. And you know, when you, if you're going to ask me, can I do this? Can I use that? Can I use this? Who knows? Try it. Oops, sorry. Try it and find out. You don't know if something's going to work unless you try it. You know my book pillows I told you about? That was an accident when I was just, when I was using the punching machine. I did something by accident, and that's how I discovered the techniques of manipulating fancy fabrics. I didn't ask anybody if I could do it. I tried it, and a creative opportunity came from it, and a book was born. You see what I'm saying? So, like, one gal asked me, can I use metallic threads when I make this? You don't know if you, you're, you know, if you try it. I haven't done it yet, but try it. And after you try it, get back to us. Let us know what your results were. All right. Until my next video, guys, take all this inspiration that I'm showing you. Take it all and create and create and create. And after you create, join my sewing group on Facebook and share photos of what you created. Okay. Take care, everyone. God bless you. And be creative. Don't be afraid. Don't be timid. Try things. You don't need permission. to. You don't need to ask anybody if this will work or that will work. You try it. Okay? Bye now.